Hi and welcome on RC Nerd 74. Today I'm gonna guide you through the first build episode of my first 3D printed plane. It's the Eclipsen Model A. Today I'm gonna go through the fuselage steps I did so far. The reason why I only show the fuselage today is that I wanna take you really through all the details I do on the build. That takes some time and I don't want to make too long videos. So today is just a look at the build steps of the fuselage and the next videos will be about the wings and the electronics and all the other stuff. So let's jump right into the steps. First of all, I glued the cockpit. These are two simple parts I had to glue together for all the PLA parts. I use UHU Plus Special, which works pretty perfect and welds the plastic parts together. And you don't have the problem on clear PLA that you have strange white shadows, which you get if you use uh, CA glue. Next step was to make the two guide pieces, the connectors for the two tail parts in the right shape because the fuselage has a round shape and the connectors are flat. I had the idea to put it on a metal rod. This was the metal rod of my vacuum cleaner and I used my heat gun and pushed the connectors in the right shape using around 200 degrees. And like this, the plastic melted a bit and I could shape it into the right shape to make it fit perfect to the round shape of the fuselage. On the second tail part, I had some uneven edges on the rear end. So I had to cut them off with a sharp knife just to make sure that the connector parts will be even on the fuselage and make a perfect glue spot. Then I glued the connectors onto the second section of the tail. As you can see, the fit is perfect. The round shape of the connectors fits perfect the round shape of the fuselage front end of the second tail section there was some uh, useless uh, 3d printed material which i had to cut off to make the build look clean on the third tail section there were the holes for the carbon rods which were closed coming out of the 3d printer so i had to open them with a knife just to make sure that the carbon rod will fit perfect into all three sections to make a clean connection of the three tail sections. Then I had to cut down the carbon rods to the right length. There are two lengths. The bottom side is around 25.5 centimeters and the top side rod is around 21.5 centimeters. If you have this length, it will fit perfect through all three sections of the tail. Then it was time to connect all the three tail sections together. I used the Uhu Plast special for the PLA and some CA glue to glue the carbon rods into the PLA because the Uhu Plast special cannot glue carbon. So I had to use two different glues to make a perfect fit of all materials together. Next step was to connect the whole tail with the center section. There was a little problem that the center section didn't have the same width on top as the tail section. So I had to use some tape to pull the top part of the center section a bit together to make the connection of the two parts really well that the glue can uh, really connect the two parts perfectly together. On the rear end of the front section there was also some uh, useless 3D printed material. I also removed this with a sharp knife. Then it was time to work on the motor mount. The motor mount has uh, holes in diameter, one side 16 millimeters, the other side 19 millimeters. So this fits perfect for drone motors. 
That was also a reason why I give it a try with the Razer Star 2306S. Then I had to install some spacers between the motor and the motor mount just because the motor is too short to make the spinner fit on to the fuselage. And as you can see, the gap is pretty perfect between the fuselage and the spinner. That looks pretty nice. What I also installed is some soft mount stack screws. This is just an experiment. I don't know if this will work, but I hope to eliminate any kind of vibration from prop, spinner and motor onto the fuselage. If this won't work, I simply change to regular spacers. For motor mount screws, I use two millimeter screws which you use for wood or similar materials. They work perfect on the fuselage to screw into the motor mount. Same on the spinner itself. These are also, I think, around two millimeter screws, just with smaller heads on the spinner. The back plate of the spinner has four areas for cooling holes, but it comes out of the printer with the cooling holes closed. So I had to take the Dremel and the file to open these four holes just to get more cooling air through the spinner onto the motor to keep the motor as cool as possible. The finish of the spinner tip wasn't too nice, so I also used the file just to get the hole for the prop in perfect shape. As you can see, the prop looks in the wrong direction in comparison to the hole of the spinner. This is just because I use a counterclockwise motor instead of a clockwise motor, but it fits also without any issues, so that will work fine like this. This setup is just for testing, so if it will fly perfect and I like it, I probably will change to a clockwise running motor so I can switch the prop direction too. Then the prop will look in the right direction for the spinner too. This is the progress of the build so far. So thanks for watching, have a good time, happy flying, bye bye.